Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Claire. About a year and a half ago, I sold all of my things to become a scuba instructor and travel the world. So now I'm sharing all of my experiences with you guys. If you tuned in last week, you'll see my friend Jordi and I were on an island in the Philippines called Bohol. We had a lot of fun and it was a really great time. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go back and check it out after this video. Today's video is a video that I have been waiting for for such a long time. So we made our way from the island of Bohol to a different island called Malapascua. Malapascua is famous for diving with thresher sharks and diving with thresher sharks has been the top of my list for a long time now. So we met up with two more of our friends, Yen and Dan, and then we headed up to Malapascua. It was a very early wake-up call for Jordi and I. We woke up and had to be at the ferry at 5 a.m. Our ferry departed at 6. We got to the main island of Cebu around 8 and then had a little breakfast and then we took a five-hour bus from Cebu City all the way up to the very tip of Cebu called Mayaport. From Mayaport we take then an hour-long boat from the port all the way to the island. Now this island of Malapascua is incredibly small. All the food and all the products that they need to live on that island all come from the main island of Cebu on these flat boats. The owner of the hotel that we stayed at messaged me and she basically said, follow the paved road. And so I was like, okay, there must only be one paved road. And in fact, there was. And it wasn't even a road really. It was more like a, a big sidewalk. So right now we are walking around downtown Malapascua. This is the main road on the island. This is the only paved road. And it's actually like, this is considered a road, not a walkway. There are motorbikes that go up and down here. There's no cars on the island. This here is the marketplace. So here we have some restaurants, some small markets. And this is where everyone gathers for dinner. They have uh, restaurants and karaoke is a big, big thing here. So they have karaoke singing every single night. And so like everyone on the island will come to this marketplace. It's almost like the entire island is one big resort. And like, this is the only food on the island. So everyone comes and eats here. See, yeah, here's the road. It's the only paved road on the entire island. The rest of them are small pathways. So like on Google Maps, when we're searching like how to get to a place, they'll say, oh, take this road. And the road that they're referring to is like a back alley. There are no cars or anything on this island, just motorbikes. But yes, they do use this small walkway as an actual road. We went to the dive shop to check in and they said, okay, tomorrow morning you have to be here at 4.20 a.m. Thresher sharks come up from the deep to a shallow shoal around sunrise. So it is a very early wake up call. We got some dinner and headed back and got some sleep to get ready for the big day. Good morning guys. It is currently 4 a.m. and today is Thresher Shark Day. Oh, I can't believe it's finally here. I've been looking forward to this day for so long. My friends and I are here in Malapascua. Uh, basically the purpose of all scuba divers coming here is to go diving with the Thresher Sharks. So yeah, it's an early morning wake up call. We've got to be at the dive shop at 4.20 and our boat will start leaving at 4.30. So I'm going to film the whole thing. So I'll take you guys with me on our dives to go see the thresher sharks.
experiences I have ever had. And it was every bit as magical as I thought it was going to be. We had two dives with them. Basically how the day went, we got to the dive shop at 4.20 in the morning, we got all of our gear set, and then we headed to the beach where there was a small boat that we all packed into to then go to our big flat boat. And so we took a boat ride in the dark over to our boat, got on the boat, and then it was about an hour and a half boat ride to the dive site. Oh, just thinking about it makes me so happy again. It was one of the best experiences. Basically five minutes into the dive, we see our first thresher shark going by already. I don't know how many thresher sharks we actually saw because they kept going out of sight and then would come back in. So I don't know if it was a different one or the same one, but we had about 20 different sightings. Also the thresher sharks absolutely stole the show, but we did see an octopus on the dive as well. And they're one of the coolest things to see. They're changing color, changing texture. Sometimes we've seen them, they just punch fish just for fun. Octopus are so cool. The next day we decided to explore the island of Malapasqua. It takes about 15 minutes to walk from the left side of the island to the right side of the island. And then it takes about 35 minutes to walk from the bottom to the top. So we were like, yeah, we can absolutely make the entire perimeter. So we went on a walk and just explored the entire island. had to be back into the main little town of Malapasqua around three because then we were going on another dive that evening. I don't know if anyone's heard of the mandarin fish. It's a very small and colorful fish that can be found only in a few places around the world. And so we decided might as well go and see it while we're here. These fish we see at night. Now keep in mind, this water is actually very cold. And when I say cold, I mean about like 26 degrees Celsius. I gotta, I gotta look up right now what is. I feel like one of those people that like travels abroad for like a month and then comes back with an accent or something, how I can't function in Fahrenheit anymore. In my defense, I have been working as a scuba instructor around the world for a while now. So I've only been working in like Celsius and the metric system, things like that. So my brain has to revert back to, <laughs> to get to Celsius or to get to Fahrenheit again. Okay, the water in the Philippines is about 78 degrees on average, which I think is cold. I've been working in very, very warm waters the last year. On average, about 84 degrees. And so that difference actually is quite a bit. Anyways, I just completely went off the path of what I was saying. So I feel the water is cold. I ended up having to wear my hood for the second dive of the Thresher Shark dive because I was getting very, very cold. But Jordy didn't have a hood and he only had a three millimeter wetsuit on. And so he was really like shivering by the end. And once we got onto the boat, we had to wrap him in all of our towels. So without further ado, here's our Mandarin dive. <laughs>
finally. I had to end my journey on Malapascua in not a super great way. We ended up going to a different part of the island for snorkeling, which is a protected bay. And so a lot of baby black tip reef sharks are living there. So we got the GoPro, went in the water, was swimming around, filming the sharks. And later that evening, we filmed the sunset. We went back to the hotel and I noticed some condensation underneath the screen of the GoPro. GoPro is no more. We took her snorkeling and some water I think got in the battery case and then it flooded the GoPro. So no more GoPro. So here's a closer up version of the battery. You can see it's got corrosion right here. And then on the inside of the GoPro, you can see those little prongs and they're supposed to be four, but when we ended up taking the battery out, the, the other fuse actually came out inside of this. So yeah, she is no more. Damn, that sucks. I was on the phone with GoPro because I have the, the GoPro care and they'll replace the GoPro for you. But they said that they don't ship to really anywhere in Asia. So basically I'm just out of luck. They said I can pay an extra $70 on top of the $100 replacement fee if, I, if they will ship it to Indonesia, but I don't even know what address to ship it to in Indonesia. And they said I can't pick it up from a local dealer because it has to come directly from their warehouse. And so they gave me nearly no options. I can't buy a new GoPro with my discount because the discount for being a GoPro member only applies to the online store. Even if I do buy a new GoPro online, they won't ship it to me. <laughs> so I'm kind of out of options and it really sucks because I was using this a lot for, for the stuff that I was filming. And now like um, when I go diving, I, I, I have nothing to take videos with. So if anyone has any ideas or has heard of anyone that's this has happened to before, please let me know because I have, I have no idea what to do now. So if anyone is coming from the US to Asia anytime soon, please let me know. I may have a favor to ask you or if you guys have any other ideas of what I should do because I really feel stuck. But anyways, enough of that. I'm sure you guys are wondering where we are off to next. So we decided to call, go to an island called Leyte. We're going all the way south to a town called Padre Burgos. Basically the main purpose of us going there is to swim with whale sharks. Another huge bucket list moment for me, hopefully. This is my third year trying to find these things and my fourth country so keep your fingers crossed for me that it works out this time so that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you want to check out any of my travel tips you can visit my blog it's adventuringwithclaire.com and then also check me out on instagram and tiktok at adventuringwithclaire thank you guys again i will see you guys next week